Hey you guys, what's up? Um, my name is Caitlin Ahern and I used to have a following on YouTube for a while um, with, with a boyfriend and um, some of you might know me, some of you might recognize me. Um, my nickname used to be Kate is great and I wanted to come on and kind of just talk about my recent situation and this isn't to I'm not gonna say any names I'm not calling out anything and um, some of you just might recognize me so you guys some of you guys will know me um, but not everyone this is I could be a totally new face to most of the people watching this um, but I just want to come on and talk a little bit about something that I recently have gone through um, a life-changing altering event and this is just for me to heal this is for me to just come out in the open and hopefully um, hopefully also just get other people to speak up about what they go through and maybe to even help other females or other males or other people in situations that I have lived and I have gone through. Um, so I mean, basically what I went through, I w I'm a domestic violence survivor and victim. So I, um, it never really hit me until, until the beginning of January, I guess, just how crazy the person I loved was at the time. Um, I knew something was always kind of off. I knew things were kind of always rough for him and depression and everything so I always tried to be the strong one for both of us to help to help him out in the best way that I could but there's only so much you can give to a person in general there's only so much you can give you know you can give your whole life you can give your whole savings account you can give them a car you can buy them an apartment and pay for all the rent and all the food which is what I did for almost two years of my life and no one should ever do that ever like ever if you are not getting any of that any of that love back or any of that if you're not splitting things evenly or if you're not getting repaid somehow financially even like I hate to make money a burden but it a like the money is a big thing and financially it brought me down emotionally it brought me down and my self-esteem went down I got told I was ugly I got told I was just a ugly ass white girl that you know basically didn't have shit like without him and you know that that really what hurt the most because um, you really think that you love somebody and like you're trying to give them your all and whatever you do you just realize that you're not good enough or whatever for their love and for their thing but that's false that's totally false because everyone is good enough and everyone deserves to be treated with respect no matter what color how old you are whether you're a male or a female it does not matter it does not matter as long as you are giving and trying your all you should get at least half or more of that respect back and that was not happening like at all not at all I think the most I ever gotten from this relationship was a cell phone case and um, it came to a point where anger was just the anger of him was so much 
and um, he was just angry all the time. And I just kept on trying new things to make him happy and buy a car and let's do this. Let's buy a camera. Let's buy this. Everything was done with my money. And um, granted, I know things were happening before I came along in his life and that was great, but you know, good for him. But right now, all of that doesn't matter because of what I went through. There came a point where he would get so angry to um, where he would be calling me names and then all of a sudden, all of a sudden it would get physical, like out of nowhere. I wouldn't even fight it. I wouldn't even fight him. Like whenever he, whenever an argument would come up, I would just, um, I'd honestly just be quiet because I knew how angry he could get. And I'm like, I'm not going to push buttons. I'm just going to sit quietly. I'm just going to be quiet. I'm going to let him tell me off. I'm going to let him s I'm going to let him call me ugly. I'm going to sit there and I'm going to cry and I'm just going to shake my head and be like, "Okay. Okay." And that's what I did. That's what I did for y almost 2 years. Um And it wasn't like this every day. I mean, I think I think it was just a mental illness at one point. It wasn't like this every single day, you know, he'd come back and there would be apologies and everything and, but it would always re, re, reoccur. It would always come up and happen again. Finally got to the point where it got so bad to where I was strangled. I was hit in my face. I was knocked unconscious. I was I was, I got a concussion so bad um, to where I was in the hospital for like three days maybe and then I had to go back again because I lost so much weight because I was so sick from this concussion that I, I almost died. I almost lost my life and he wanted to kill me. He told me that he wanted to kill me. He told me that if I didn't do things the way what he wanted it, that basically my life was going to be over. And um, and so that's really hard to think of because I was giving so much for so long. And, um, and like... I, I mean, I, I know this sounds stupid for me, like it, it was stupid, but also it's just, there comes a point for a mental ill person like this to where they're so good at manipulating you and they're so good at telling you the right things at the right time to try and trick you and be like, oh no, like I really love this person. Like I really love you, I'm so sorry, you know, that's not me. Like I don't know what, you know. They try and do all these things and Granted, maybe he does have a mental illness, and I hope he gets the help he needs. But just on the victim side, it's scary. It's scary being choked out. It's scary being strangled. Um, it's scary being hit so hard where you see stars, and then you look at this person in the eyes that you've fallen for and fallen for again and it sounds really pathetic and there have been many times where I should have just gotten out of the situation but guys guess what I even tried to get out of the situation I tried to leave when I left you know when we were fighting and we were angry this last time I left he tried grabbing me and pulling me back in he ripped my shirt he threw me on the bed he strangled me more um, you know I I nearly lost my life because of one person wanting to control me so much and that's not at all what anyone no male no female no one should have to put up with that and I was so I felt so weak and stupid but it was like for some reason there was still that spark in me that was like oh he's still a good person 
oh, he's, he's still going to be, you know, he's still going to love me tomorrow. Like, it's going to be okay. No. It's a mind trick. They play mind tricks on you, the people like that. And um, you have to just be strong and brave and come out of that and just finally figure out who you are. Give yourself time to heal. Like, it's already been like a... M well, it's almost been a month now. It's like the end of the end of January. It's been okay, so it's been like three and a half weeks. Yeah. So it's been like three and a half weeks. And um so yeah. Three and a half weeks since this happened and I was so sick for the first like week and a half of it. And now like now I can finally um be at peace because it's over with. I'm safe. I'm alive. I'm still here. And I've missed out on so much of my life because I was trying to prove so much love to one person. I missed out on my friends and my family and dancing and aerial arts and flying trapeze. I missed out on so much just because I was basically being stupid. I mean, just don't ever lose yourself in someone and I know and I know some people are gonna be watching this like oh like well you did this to yourself not exactly because I was just trying to prove that I loved one person so much and that I I would try and do anything it took to keep the fire burning and make sure make sure we were both happy and ultimately you just you can't you can't help some people you have to just be able to get out of the situation as soon as you can when you feel like your life is being threatened when someone lays a hand on you it's time to go it's time to go no matter what no matter how angry you are, no matter how angry anybody gets, that is crossing a line. Um, the, the biggest line of all. And so, I mean, I guess that's really it. I guess that's really all I have to say. Um, but now, I have this whole bright future ahead of me. I'm still here. I am happy. Um, yeah, it hurt for a while. I was torn the past few weeks, and yeah, I'll still cry about it, and I'm still going to cry about it. Um, I'm still going to cry about it, because I missed what I thought was going to be spectacular. What I thought was going to be the love of my life. But you can't, you can't change someone that doesn't want to change. You definitely can't change someone that has a little bit of crazy going up on in their head um, because literally the arguments were over nothing um, like absolutely nothing it, we, it was just conversation we were just like talking and all of a sudden a, a, like a, he'd sw like, switch a flip like flip the switch I mean flip a switch <laughs> whatever I just said um, shit would flip really quick and I would always just be like trying to be calm from the get-go you know but I mean no matter how many arguments you get in no matter how many disagreements you have that should never be something that should ever happen no one should ever be <laughs> ever be to the point where they're strangling you telling you that they're gonna kill you if you don't do what they say or if you don't do what they want that should never be a thing and um, I really hope people that have been in similar situations or whatever and some people some people don't get over it as quickly as I do uh, apparently or I have I don't know I don't know everyone's situation is different um, but I'm I am now already four weeks after this crazy shit happened and I am I'm happy, I'm doing modeling gigs. I've never modeled before, now I, and now I get to model. I get to do all my stuff that I want to do. I am free, I am free from the darkness and the terror and the crazy shit that happened. I'm free from it. Um, 
I no longer have to be controlled, feel controlled, because now I know who I am even more. I grew from this. I, I am alive, <laughs> which is the greatest blessing. Um, almost lost my life that night, man. Um, and thank God for family. If it wasn't for my family and my friends, I don't even think I could be as strong and happy as I'm feeling right now. Like I could cry right now, but I I wouldn't I wouldn't have this smile on my face if I didn't have the support that I have. And I've had that support all along. I've had that support all along. And I feel really bad that it took me this this long and for this shit to happen for me to really like love myself and finally know myself and know who's behind me and know who actually loves me and supports me um and now i know who doesn't and now i know and now i know what it's like to be so hurt and so broken that that won't ever happen again my life is only going up from here and I can only be thankful for everything I have and I've been saying this since my dad passed away um, just be thankful for your family and the loved ones that you do have here with you now and the good people in your life because a lot of crazy shit happens out there and if you have those people who are positive and love you and then then you can only be positive and love back. So that's really what it's about now. So now, now it's time for growth and healing. And I just wanted to make this video to kind of be open about it because I don't want to hide away from it and keep depression in or anything. That's not really my thing. I'm very open. I'm an open person. I love hearing about other people's stories. If you have a story that you want to tell me, send me a video, message me. Um, I have a Facebook. I have um, Instagram. I still have it as Kate is great. And um, I still have uh, Facebook at Kate Marie Ahern. Um, if you feel like you need to reach out, comment down below. I'm going to post this on my channel. I'm not posting this on the channel that I was on. I'm going to post this on my channel and see what happens. So, but hopefully if someone, if people are watching this, you know, if you, if you've gone through the same thing, then know that, know that you're amazing and that you need to find your own way to be strong and do what you love. Find something that you love to do. I love to draw, I love to dance, I love to do everything. Find something you are passionate about, just yourself and nobody else. And, well, I mean, other people are gonna be passionate about it too, but, <laughs> but for yourself. And, um, yeah, I mean, that's really it, you guys. I really, really just wanted things to be positive and now now that I made the video it's kind of nice because now I don't have to do, worry about it and now I feel like I can just move past it and continue living and I don't even I don't even think about it anymore as something I miss out on or some I like oh I miss the good times no like not anymore you know it is what it is it happened for a reason and um, yeah I wasn't trying to make this an 18 minute video or 19, 20 minute video. All right, you guys, well, I'm gonna sign out for now, but thank you for watching and I hope you guys can grow and learn and stay positive and safe with me.